Hey, Cooking with Jennifer B. We are going to try the viral cottage cheese flatbread today. All you need is one cup of cottage cheese, two eggs, and then, oh, and then I am going to add a dash of a little bit of garlic and a little bit of toasted onion and then some salt and pepper. Here we go. Okay, one cup of cottage cheese, two eggs, my little dash of garlic and onion. Everything's better with garlic and onion. And then we're just gonna put this on, uh, I'm doing it in my magic bullet. You could do it in a blender or the Ninja, whatever it is. And we're just gonna blend this all up till it's um, really smooth and creamy. And then we're gonna put it on a sheet pan with parchment paper. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I have my uh, sheet pan with this, just some parchment paper on top. And then this is all creamy. I'm telling you, for the love of goodness, I do not know how this would make a good flatbread, but we're going to find out. And then we're gonna put this in the oven and bake it for um, at 350 degrees for about um, 40 minutes. I'm gonna check it at 30 and we'll see how it is. Okay, in she goes, 375 for about, we're gonna check it 30 minutes, but I think it's gonna take about 40 according to the viral videos. Okay, and while that's cooking, I went ahead and made some dip. This is a half a cup of mayo, a half a cup of uh, Greek yogurt. You could also use sour cream if you wanna keep it low carb. And then I put in um, two tablespoons of our French onion seasoning. And then I did one, uh, not quite one, but almost one tablespoon of the nacho cheese. This kind of has a little zing to it. So it's gonna be French onion dip with a zing. Oh, so good. Doesn't that look amazing? Okay, halfway through, about 15 minutes in, I have flipped this over and we're gonna let it cook the rest of the way. Okay, so the 15 minute uh, timer just went off. I just flipped this over because I wanted to see what the other side looks like. You can see this is more uh, browned than what the other side was. So I flipped this back over again and I am gonna go ahead and cook this for another five minutes or so um, just so it can get browned on the other underside. But is this not amazing? Like this is literally the texture, the feel of a flatbread. So ah, I can't wait to try it. Okay, so this is out of the oven. I just placed it on a, um, a baker's rack just to let this cool. And it didn't really brown up on the other side, um, but I didn't wanna cook it too much longer because it was starting to get really crispy on the edges. So uh, I'm going to let this cool for a little bit and then we are gonna make this into a sandwich. Okay, we're going to cut this in half and make two sandwiches. Okay, so we're gonna use the dip that I made as our like mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna put some ham and some cheese and some lettuce. You could add whatever you want, onions, peppers, all the things. And then we're going to give this a try. Okay, what are you thinking? I'm thinking carb-free perfection. <laughs> right? Gluten-free too. Mm -hmm. That's a bigger bonus for us. He has this in case he forgets who he is. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely a hit. Uh-huh. Mm hmm This I will make again. Would you eat this again? I eat it every day, probably. Mm hmm He has to give up bread. A little different sauce, you know. Enjoy. Try it. Tag me in your post if you try it. Okay, so I do not know who had the brilliant idea of mixing cottage cheese with egg and baking it on a pan. But I will say that that was a win. We both loved it. We absolutely will make it again and try some so many different varieties.